welcome, welcome, welcome to Turn Ben Sign On. Now, how many of you ever went to high school? I bet almost everyone watching either has gone to high school, is going to high school, or will go to high school. You may recall there were certain guys who were just enough to make you go crazy. They were unbelievably handsome, very athletic and talented, smart and rich. And all the girls flocked around them while we were sitting reading our chemistry books <laughs> and holding something. And I have a person like this on the show today, and we're going to find out what makes him tick and why he got everything good in life while we were just sitting there picking our pimples. My guest today has been playing professional hockey for over 15 years. He holds the record for most goals in a single season by a left winger, although Al Gore is close behind, and is the 16th highest scorer in the history of the game. From Los Angeles Kings, please welcome the very good-looking Luke Robitaille. <laughs> Philadelphia. Yeah, who did that to you? Eric Lindros. And did you say, Eric, I'm going to kick 
get out of you for that. He, he fell on top of me and he kind of helped himself. So the next, I went back and I had stitches. I came back to play. So the first thing I did, if I, you know, he's a big guy. He's bigger than me. So, uh, but I tried as hard as I could. And I went back and gave him one of those. With the, with the stick. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's bigger than me. Yeah. So then, so what happened? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I, I skated away. I see. <laughs> now, we're going to take a little break. And then when we return, we're going to discuss... Uh, dental plans for the <laughs> NHL and also for talk show hosts. Don't go away or else Luke will cross-check you and body... What's it called? A body... Body check. Body check you. Right. If you go away, you get body checked. <laughs> Second period of Turn Ben Stein on. I'm about to face off with L.A. King, Luke Robitaille. <laughs> now, Luke, uh, before we go further into your personal life, okay. how many of your teeth are fake? Um, I got one that I, I lost all the way through. That's all? Yeah. All the rest are real? There's a couple, but I had to help that one that I lost, so I would say like three. And how'd you lose that tooth? Scary. <laughs> I mean, was it a puck or a stick or something? Actually, it was an elbow. An it, elbow? It, 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 Whose elbow? Uh, it was actually a player on my own team in oh. a practice by accident. Did you deck him? Uh, no, I, I, I didn't. I should have. Why, why do hockey players like to fight so much? I mean, in, you see, in the, NA, in the NFL, football players will tackle each other, knock each other down, tackle each other from behind, sack each other. They go wham down on the ground with a tremendous thud. And then they just pat each other on the back and get up and go on and play the rest of the game. Hockey players can, just want to fight. I can never understand that. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the, the big thing about hockey is, uh, we, you know, we have a stick, which is like a weapon in some uh, ways. So I think by, by taking away fighting, guys might start using their sticks more and more, and it would become more dangerous. Like in Europe, they don't have, they're not allowed to fight. If they fight just like football, basketball, they get thrown out of the game. Really? And they find that there's a lot more stick work going on. And usually it's kind of like an unwritten law that what, what happens because of the fighting, there's a lot less stick work. And, you know, to be fair, in the NHL right now, there's a lot less fighting than there ever was. I mean, really? It's down like uh, about 20% every year for the past four or but five still, years. But still, hockey players seem like, an, are they not an unusually belligerent group? I mean, when they're off the field, off the ice, are they unusually hostile? No, no. <laughs> I mean, are they friendly? Nice? <laughs> They're just like animals. No. Right. I think, uh, you know, hockey players are well known. Most of the guys really respect the game, and they're really nice guys. And uh, if you talk to almost any reporter, they love to deal with hockey players. Because it might be the exception. Because the guys really respect people, respect what they do. Why are you the exception? It was a joke. Oh, I <laughs> See, that's that, 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 that Canadian humor <laughs> that Canadians right. are so famous for. Now, uh, you have scored how many goals in your career? Uh, 560. Whoa! And is there any... Uh, it's incredible. Yeah, that was for that. Is there any goal... Uh, is there any goal that you remember as being the absolutely best, most exciting goal you ever scored? Uh, I mean, you, every goal is fun to score. It's I like bet. hitting I a home run. I bet. You would think every time you score a goal and it helps your team to win. But there's nothing like scoring a goal when your team is tied or down by a goal. And in the third period. One of them that can uh, remember to me, I mean, obviously when you're in the playoffs, every goal means so much that they're fun to score in, in overtime, but uh, in 94, I got to play in the World Championship, and unlike uh, our playoffs uh, in the World Championship, if you play overtime, if you don't score after that, it goes to penalty shots, kind of like mm -hmm. soccer, and it became, it turned to that. We were playing against Finland, and I got to take the last penalty shot to win the gold medal oh, in Canada. Oh, great. Fabulous. And I scored, so it was, it was pretty special. That's the one I remember. That's a good one to remember. Now, speaking of scoring, at what age did girls start to call you up and say, uh, <laughs> what, uh, what are you doing now? Would you like to come over? I was always, uh, <laughs> I didn't get too many calls, but I had to call them. I don't know, I would say... 13, 14. 13, they would call and watch you. But I was over. really interested into hockey. Uh -huh. you know, so so at what age did you, at what age would they call you, <laughs> say, come over, Luke. Come over. And, and you know, do the wild thing. Uh, <laughs> maybe in the 17s. <laughs> uh, and, and they would, and, and, uh, and how often would this happen? So
say when you were 17 or 18? Uh, a lot. A lot, you said? Was, was it a lot or a little? Or? <laughs> a little. I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's personal. <laughs> well, that's, okay. well, that's, all right, well, well, forget about when you were 17 or 17. How about now? No, I'm married. How long have you been married? Uh, eight years. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Do you have children? Yeah, two, two boys. And how old are they? Boys, uh, one of my boys, 12, and five, and he's not my natural son, but he, you know, I've raised him since mm -hmm. he was a year and a half, so he is like my son. So uh -huh. and I've how about got two boys, one and five. And do they both play hockey? They both play hockey, Excuse and uh, they both love it. Now. I bet. They that's like roller, roller hockey more. I think my five-year-old the other day drew something uh, of myself, which was kind of funny, my wife and I. He had to draw something in kindergarten, and he drew myself uh, with a stick over my head with blood all over the side. So wow. he doesn't really want to play hockey, so we kind of put together that in his mind, that's what hockey is about. So wow. I think that's why, why he doesn't he want to think that. Because <laughs> we have good seats, and he sits right I'm by the kidding. glass. And I, think <laughs> <laughs> and I think he sees the action from a little too close. <laughs> Besides you, who is the greatest? player now in the NHL, who do you think? Right now in the NHL, I would say uh, Yarmir Jagger. He's probably the, the best player in the league. Right now last year, he finished the leading scorer. And he's just a real fun player to watch. And what country is he from? He's from uh, Czechoslovakia. And, and who, who do you think is the best player, best NHL player ever? Ever? Uh, Gretzky. The great. I the mean, great he, he, he came in... He came in where the leading scores in our league used to get 100 points or 120 points, and they were the lead. And he came in and just would get 200 points yeah, a year. The greatest, you know, would the be greatest, like the greatest. Uh, greatest, yeah. the greatest. Uh, now we must uh, clear off the stage for the Zamboni to uh, clear off the ice, uh, but we're going to return in a moment with more of Turn Ben Stein on. Don't go away, or else you get hit over the head, blood pouring off your head <laughs> with a hockey stick. <laughs> black 
black eye and stitches, and after the game, hey, good fight tonight, and they'll have a drink with each other. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. None of us can understand it, but it so, does happen. Uh, do you have any uh, superstitions, like uh, wearing the uh, same socks, not changing them, going to win uh, streak? I try not to get caught up in, in superstition, because then you, in your mind, you get you get caught to that, but like if if I start wearing a, a hat and we'll start winning before the game, I like to wear a hat. I'll keep wearing that hat. That's why I wear these shoes. Little things. I said they're, they're lucky. They're <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Good yeah. for you. <laughs> when you were growing up, what was your favorite team? Uh, Montreal Canadiens, because I grew up in Montreal. Yeah. And then Edmonton. I really liked the Edmonton. Uh, Gretzky was there. Uh -huh. And and do you feel bad when you're playing against the Canadiens? Do you think, oh gosh, I'm playing against? Oh no, not heroes. at all. Really want to beat the crap out of them. You do really. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, you do. talking about pride. Yeah, uh, because just because of pride. What did you say? What kind of pride? Well, it's just about pride. You know, it's your hometown. You come back, and they didn't pick me when I got drafted. Uh -huh. so you're like, hey, I want to show them every time. Do they ever come to you and say, "Boy, are we sorry we didn't draft you"? Or is that the, that would be against their code of like? Uh, the mind. reporters have because I got picked in the ninth round really late uh, the year I got drafted, so they had nine chances. So I've heard from some reporters, but never. No. They don't. The management. No. They no. Don't. They wouldn't do that because that would hurt their pride. That's right. Now, now, do you ever have you ever wanted to have any other kind of a job besides being a pro hockey player, like maybe an insurance salesman or uh, work at a mortuary? Or do you think your 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 destiny lies always in athletics? I don't think I lie only in athletics. I mean, I, I uh, probably when I finish, I'll do something else in the business world. I don't know what. Yeah, I own some hockey rinks now. And oh, great! Where are they? In uh, some in California, Dallas. Uh, really? We have three or four in California. Is that a good business? It's 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 a tough business, but it's it's a good business. It's really good for me. I didn't get to go to school, so I get to learn a lot about the business world in that sense. Excellent, too. excellent, excellent. Now, uh, while you weren't looking, uh, I happened? did some stick work <laughs> on uh, Dan S. Rosenblatt, the uh, director. So I'm going to have to spend a little time in the penalty box. But we're going to return <laughs> in a minute with more Luke Robitaille and turn Ben Stein on. serve time for hooking. <laughs> L.A. Kings left wing Luke Robitaille. Now, why are there so few uh, non-white players in the NHL, say, compared to the NBA? Is it is it because uh, hockey is traditionally a Canadian sport? And there's I so think uh, traditionally it was a lot of players coming from Canada, but I think there's a lot more players now coming from different kind of background, and uh, there's a lot more players coming now from the United States, and uh, you see a lot more black players, you see a lot more uh, players from different countries and I think more and more you're gonna see kids are playing like I'm in really involved with amateur hockey so I see a lot of kids coming from different backgrounds so in the future there'll be a lot more I think in the past there was a lot of players in Canada are you getting are, are there any Chinese players there was one guy this year that no from Japan I'm sorry that tried in Nashville uh -huh. and he didn't make the team but there'll be some there will be some no yeah. doubt about it now how many uh, how many what is the largest number of minutes you've ever spent in a penalty box during a game uh, for myself, it was 10 minutes uh, because I yelled at the referee. What did you say to him? <laughs> did you say you're a bad, bad man? <laughs> so when you I, yell at the I didn't do that. <laughs> it you, wasn't me. <laughs> when, you can, when you yell at a referee, what do you say? I mean, you uh, just, you know, sometimes you'll disagree, and then every, all the first 10 words I learned when I learned to speak English, I all said first them. words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every, every single one of them, I said them. The referees must be tough guys. They're, they're so. tough. I mean, yeah. are they former hockey players? Some of them are former hockey players. So they, they don't put up with any lip from you. They don't put up. They're not scared. Know, they shouldn't. No, they can't because uh, you know they, you know it's there's always like conversation going back and forth. These guys know what we're about. They're they're not afraid of you, but they, you're. And they take our afraid. BS, yeah. <laughs> but now to go back to the very beginning of the show, when you wake up in the morning, do you get up? Look at yourself in the mirror, run your hands through your lank brown hair, <laughs> and say, holy smoke, I'm Luke Robitaille. <laughs> I am Luke Robitaille. I love my life. Or, or do you I, just think, wait a minute, uh, I, I'm still tired, I want to go back to bed. I mean, some, what do you think when you get up in the morning? Some mornings after a game, I'll get up, oh, my back hurts. <laughs> but but the, you know, the, almost every day I get up and... Uh, 
I'm living my dream. So I feel I'm one of the luckiest guy alive. I mean, I really am. I, w I was a kid, and it was so far away from me to play in the NHL that it wasn't the almost even a dream. And so every day I, I thank my lucky star that you know I get to do my dream. You know, to really do what, what you know, what I. You're a lucky for. guy. That's right. That's what we like to have on the show. We want to have people around us <laughs> who are lucky. It's been wonderful having you on the Thank show. Thank you very